In this video, we'll be melting down some high density polyethylene, which is most commonly found, say, in like milk jugs. So we'll be melting it in the heat treating oven so we can heat it up to a temperature of 280 degrees Fahrenheit and hold it there for a little bit. And then it'll come back down and then it'll kind of flow together in a block that we'll be able to machine over on the mill. We have the Paragon KMT Pro Series heat treating oven and it heats up really fast and it has pretty accurate temperature control. So I'm gonna heat this up to about 280 degrees Fahrenheit and hold it there for about a minute and then cool down and it should reflow real well. These are the settings I have right here. So I have the ramp rate set to 1,475 and the temperature is 280. We'll fill this up to about here. Once it starts to flow down, we'll add more in about 10 minutes. And this is high density polyethylene. Now it's right there at 280, or in this case, 282, so two degrees over. These Paragon ovens are really well insulated, so it's still cold to the touch here and on the side. I've gotten this up to 1500 degrees and it's still cold to the touch on top. It might start warming up a little bit on the sides. We'll go ahead and check on it. Yep, definitely starting to melt. Whenever you open the front door, it says lid open and it pauses it, it stops heating the coils. But as soon as you close it again, it goes right back into firing mode and it starts heating again. So 20 minutes later, it is melting, but not completely. See, it's not like flowing quite as much liquid as we'd like. So we're gonna bump it up about 10 degrees. You can see it's very malleable, but I mean, it, it, it's still, it's not like sticking to this. I can move it around, but it's not quite flowing. And I don't smell any fumes at 280, which is a good thing. So we'll take this up to 290. At 290, it's definitely flowing better. Oh yeah, look, at see, it's really starting to flow together and mold together. And I'm still not smelling any fumes, which means it's not smoking, which is good. And we'll add in some more plastic. Because we're not smelling any plastic yet, we're gonna bring it up a little bit more to 300 degrees. We've gotten the temperature to about 330 degrees and we've actually emptied our entire bin. It just keeps compressing and compressing down. And we've got bags of even more high density polyethylene and these don't have any labels on them. So they're nice and clean. At 450, it starts to smoke a little bit. So of course don't breathe the smoke, especially if it's coming from plastics. So we're gonna take it back down to 400. We want the plastic to compact down in there, so I'll use this heavy aluminum plate on top so we can get a nice flat surface. We found that about 425 degrees is a good temperature where it's nice and malleable. If you go up to 450, that's when it'll start smoking. We'll clamp it in this mill so we can get pressure on that and then we'll let it sit and let that cool. Go down with a little bit of pressure, and then what I'll do is I'll lock the head in place, and then I'll let this cool overnight. I'll even it out a little bit around the corners with this. Now that our part's cooling, I'm gonna stop the cycle and turn off the machine. You can see that once it cools, it definitely shrinks a lot in the pan. So let's go ahead and bring up the head. We'll pry off this aluminum plate right there. Just pry this up. And here's our slab of plastic. It hits very dense for sure. I mean, there's a lot of weight to it. We put a lot of plastic into this. It cuts really nicely through the plastic. On the inside, it's looking really cool. Very dense. There are a few air pockets, which I expected. There's a few right there. But for the most part, this is really actually dense and it feels like a very solid plastic. Something that might help with the little air gaps and crevices is using a shot press instead of the milling machine. So like a hydraulic press that we can put more pressure on the plastic with. And now we've got a pretty good looking block of high density polyethylene and I think this looks out pretty good. 